everyone. So today's haul is going to be both soft spoken and whispered and I am hauling 11, I think, DVDs and these are the DVDs. I've actually done a known ASMR version of this so if you want a quick run through do check out that video but if not we will go straight through these. I haven't seen any of these, so I can't do a review of any of them and tell you what I think. I'm going to come a little bit closer. There we go. Okay. So the first one we have is Die Hard 2. I have seen the first Die Hard film quite a few years ago now, um, but I really enjoyed it. And really looking forward to watching the second one well, I feel like I should have watched it a long long time ago but I never got around to it and the second film is James Corden, Richard Griffiths, Dominic Cooper and Russell Tovey so it's quite a, an intense casting it is the history the History Boys is a brilliant, beguiling and extraordinarily entertaining British comedy and I do love British comedies. In the mid 1980s in a grey and grim northern grammar school, a select number of very bright boys are desperately trying to pass the Oxbridge entrance exams. What evolves is a story that effortlessly, effortlessly <laughs> illustrates the bravado, humour and vulnerability of teenagers as they navigate their way to adulthood. It sounds it sounds like it could be cheesy. It sounds like it could be a lot of fun. I'm quite an Oxbridge fan. So I think I'm going to enjoy this one quite a lot. And I will tweet what I think of it when I see it. Which will probably be quite soon. This one I was very attracted to when I saw the cover. Um, batteries not included and we have from the producers of E.T. Steven Spielberg and Kathleen Kennedy comes this delightful fantasy about a group of poor tenants on New York's Lower East Side who have nothing more than sheer determination to stop the destruction of their homes. The feisty group are delighted when a few visitors from outer space drop in to help out. Sounds a little bit different. But based just on the visuals on the back, it kind of reminded me a little bit of Mars Attacks. I mean, to be fair, it looks absolutely squat like Mars Attacks. Um, but it's the same kind of era and it looks as cheesy as that. And I'm just, I'm in the mood for kind of entertaining alien films. I'm really, really looking forward to it. This was actually one of the most expensive DVDs in this haul. It's 75 in fact, it may be the most expensive DVD in this haul. But yeah, so that will be good, hopefully. Then we have probably one of the cheapest DVDs in this haul at 25 pence, Born Identity. This is one of those DVDs that so many people have told me about. I was like, Amy, you've got to see the Born Identity, you've got to see the Born Ultimatum. And I, I believe them. <laughs> I believe that it's something I should see. I'm always interested in watching recommendations. And I don't really know what this is about. Not in any depth, anyway. So I'm really looking forward to it. And again, I will probably tweet about what I think of it once I have seen it. next one is American Pie, The Wedding, which is the third American, how many have I seen? I've seen two. This is the third American Pie film. And I really enjoyed the other two. So I'm really looking forward to this one. I mean they are quite cheesy films. Um, but you know, I think Jason Biggs and Alison Hannigan are great and they're just a bit of casual, relaxed fun, you know, when you want one of those films that are like 
not too intense and you just want to relax rather than having to like think about it or sit on the edge of the seat with a thriller. You just want something quite, quite pleasant. Um, this is definitely one of those kind of films and I'm looking forward to this one. Then we have one that I hadn't heard of um, and I saw it in the shop. This is Scrooged with Bill Murray, 1988. And it says on the back, and this is where I got excited. High spirited, high jinks on Christmas Eve, put Frank Cross in a ghostly time warp in this hilarious takeoff of Charles Dickens's A Christmas Carol. Cross, who has made the meteoric rise from the depths of the mailroom to TV network president, is mean, nasty, uncaring, unforgiving, and has a sadistic sense of humour. Perfect qualities for a modern day Scrooge. Before the night is over, he'll be visited by a maniacal New York cab driver from the past, a present day fairy who's into Pratt Falls, and finally, a ghoulish, seven foot, headless messenger from the future. So it kind of sounds like a parody of A Christmas Carol, and I love A Christmas Carol, and I love this. Look at her skeletal hand. Isn't that gorgeous? Holding the match there for him. <laughs> so yeah, I think that one's going to be a lot of fun and should hopefully help get me into the Christmas mood. Then we have Oceans 12. I have already seen Oceans 11. And I thoroughly enjoyed that one. So I'm hoping but this one is going to be good as well. Um, I really like the cast, which I think often helps. Um, but I did. I, really, I enjoyed Ocean's Eleven a lot more than I thought I would. So that, that's always nice when you're really pleasantly surprised by a film. So here goes nothing with this one as well. And then. We have Angelina Jolie in Tomb Raider 2 and I adored, absolutely adored the first film. Um, there's a quote on the back that just says, Jolie is excellent. Massive understatement. But yeah, I loved the, the pace of the first film. I love, bearing in mind the first one was my first ever Lara Croft experience because I never played the games as a child and I love Lara Croft. I love her. It is that simple. But yeah, so I'm really looking forward to watching this one as well. And then we have Orange County uh, which just sounded a bit different um, to be honest I'm not sure it sounds like my kind of film but there was just something about it I just saw it and thought I've got to get it I've got to watch it so I can't really explain that um, so I'm really concerned about watching it but we, we'll see I literally don't know what to expect from it I've never I'd never heard of it, I've not read any reviews, it could be a huge tragedy or it could be one of the best decisions I've ever made. Second last is another Angelina Jolie film and this is one I've heard a lot of good things about. Yeah, Changed Me, which was 50 pence and based on a true story. But I don't actually know what it's about, except it's set in the 1920s. Uh, but I mean, Angelina Jolie, what do we have to lose? I mean, she's, I love her. So, very much looking forward to that. Mainly because people keep saying, oh, it's great, you've bought that, you're gonna love it. And I'm like, I know, it's Angelina Jolie, of course I'm gonna love it. <laughs> and the last one is another one that I'd never heard of until I saw it in the shop when I was browsing. And I read it read the back of it and uh, yeah it sounded good. So this is Down to Earth and it's described on the front as a story of premature reincarnation. 
I love films where people die and then you get to see them in spirit form. I think it's brilliant. Um, like, have you ever seen the, this is my childhood favourite film, one of my two childhood favourites, um, a film called Toothless, where Kirstie Alley, we see her getting hit by a bus and then she is in her spirit form and she finds out that she is now, now that she's dead, she is a, a tooth fairy. And it's, 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 it's wonderful, really great film, completely irrelevant to this film though. Yeah, so we'll see what that one's like because again, I haven't heard of it. So, 11, I think, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I can count, there's 11 of them. Um, 11 films, some of which I know should be good, some of which I'm told should be good, and a couple where I may cry because I've wasted 50 pence or whatever. No, I don't think any for ever watching a film is a waste because I can at least then you can engage in conversation about it. As long as you gain something, an opinion or something, there's no problem. Yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you have any suggestions for films I should see, do let me know and I will speak to you all soon. Bye.